Saturday being the 25th April and is the second week of Easter. Our readings will be coming from the Acts of Apostle chapter 6, verse 1 to 7. Our responsorial psalm will come from Psalm 33, verse 22. Our gospel message will come from John's Gospel chapter 6, verse 16 to 21. The theme of our message today is, it is I, do not be afraid. You can see today in the gospel message, we are told the apostles Jesus asked them to go to the other side of the sea. And they entered the boat, he didn't go with them. He went to the hill to pray. And the disciples, the apostles went into the sea, and there was turbulent and great wind it couldn't become difficult for them and for hours to cover just three miles and for about three to four miles they stayed hours in the sea because the weather is not favorable to them and at the midnight with this trouble they saw Jesus walking on the water they thought they saw a ghost coupled with their stress where they are battling with the wind, the wave of the sea. We were so frightened. And quickly Jesus said, It is I, do not be afraid. They were glad when their land is the Lord. And they entered the boat, and the storm ceased. And quickly they landed on the land. All their problems disappear with coming of Christ into them. And then when they tell you that Jesus said that he came that they might have life and have it in abundance. As I see from John's Gospel chapter 10, as 11, 10 to 11, I came that they might have life and have it in abundance. And that's why he said, all of you who have a burden, come to me and I will give you rest. You can see Matthew also chapter 11, verse 28. You can see the apostles today. When Jesus came into their problem, they were scared, they were glad, and they, their trouble disappeared. It's I, do not be afraid. In everything in your life, look upon him. There is nothing that's happening in your life that is not aware of. There is nothing that is happening to you is not aware of. Therefore, you, all you need to do is to invoke on his name. Come upon me and I will answer you. And you can see today being experienced by the apostles. And that way to confirm further that when God is there, our problem disappears. Joy comes back to us because he's our joy. And now why today they are asked of the apostles why the number of the disciples of Christ were increasing. The Jews of the Greek upbringing and the Jews of the Hebrew upbringing. I mean the, Hellen the Hellenists now complain that they are weak widows who are marginalized, who are neglected, and complain that the Jews, the Hebrew Jews, are doing this, that they discriminate among them. And the apostles were worried with this complaint, with this small morning. What follows? The apostles summoned the whole multitude of people and said, 
We cannot abandon the word of God to serve them. To serve men out of yourself. Men filled with faith. The spirit of God and wisdom. So that we can appoint them to do this work. Of serving the devil. So that we can concentrate and devote ourselves to preaching the word. The people were so happy about this day. Suggestion. And that serpent. And they just Stephen with his others. The man filled with faith. Filled with wisdom. And the apostles prayed over them and laid their hands upon them and commissioned them for that job. And we were told, the men were filled with the Spirit of God. And they went about doing the job assigned to them. Do you see now when God comes into that situation? Also decided to, they should pay more attention to the things of God, to preaching the word and ministry to the people instead of devoting themselves in sharing them, sharing food. That's gospel. That is when God comes into what you are doing. And if I see the men choosing, when God comes into what they are doing, murmuring disappear. Everybody begins to get his own deal. Because God is not there, now we are living in fear. But when He comes in, fear disappears. Anywhere you see people living in fear is because they have not accepted God. They have not allowed God to, Jesus to come into your life. When you allow Him to come, there will be calm. This distress we go. The fear we go. The moment we go. And that's why today you can see. Why Jesus said, "Is I do not be afraid. In all situations, know that God, Jesus is there for you. And you have no cause to be afraid. All you need to do is to appreciate his presence, recognize his presence, appreciate him, and be thankful to him. And he will do the other ones. That's why the disciples who want to see the power of God today, and our need to trust in him, and to invoke on him in all our problems, because he is there for Say, may your merciful Lord be upon us, O Lord, as we hope in you, O Lord. Let your merciful Lord be upon us as we press our hope in you. When you hope in him, his merciful Lord will accompany you. When you doubt him, you live in fear. And when you doubt him, it's a cross, it's an act of injustice to God. He will abandon, he will leave you to do your own thing the way you want it. And you will enter into the hands of your enemies. And we ask God to give us the grace to know him today, to trust him, to call upon him in all our problems. And he is there for us to solve them. That's why he said, do not be afraid. It is I. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us as you call on Him to take care of all our problems and the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.